back to another Weird Assassin video. This is a very special video today. You can probably tell I have actually changed up my skin. And the reason being is I built Hopper's and Eleven's cabin requested by some awesome person called uh, Alessandra, is it? Alessandra? If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so, so sorry. This person is so awesome. Alessandra uh, Milano, thank you so much for the request. I really appreciate it. I love it when people give me requests and things. And this was just such a cool build to uh, have a little crack at and uh, I think it came out pretty nicely let's just give you a quick tour so I actually broke my bank a little bit and bought the uh, the bought the skins for the stuff I mean it wasn't that expensive but stranger things is just taking my money yeah, seriously I, I love the show too much right so we're gonna go in the back well actually no we're gonna go around the front just uh, I put some trees around put some saplings around just to make it look quite um, quite foresty around this area and I also built the hopper's police truck with my own tutorial out the front just to make it a little bit more authentic as you can see we got a little deck chair out the front we got some signs all over the place and these are supposed to represent the kind of wood texture and things like that so we go in the front door and you notice straight away we've got this weird thing over here and I you're probably thinking what on earth is this well I wasn't actually too sure either so there's something on a floor plan I found of the actual uh, cabin kind of floor design the, f the floor plans and it was something weird it looks like a, a sort of uh, washing machine or dishwasher or something like that. So I've just stuck it in there anyway, just to represent whatever it is. Um, we got a little kind of microwave sort of oven -y thing over here, um, or you could use it as a dryer kind of uh, washer as well. A uh, little plant pot on the side there. We got furnace oven. Uh, this is the actual iconic dining table that you see Hopper and Eleven eating their dinners uh, quite a lot in the show. You got the painting on the back there. Going to the living area, we got like a big sofa. Um, little chair for Hopper to sit in, hit Hopper's bed, because he kind of sleeps on a sofa sort of bed layout thing in the living room. TV, and this is supposed to represent a telephone, but it was really hard to build um, in vanilla Minecraft. It's really hard to build stuff like that. Uh, we come to Eleven's bedroom, so this is where Hopper comes in. He's like, uh, keep the front door to um, uh, something distance, so we can, so we don't have to. Oh, nuts. So we don't have to see you kissing. Um, and yeah, that's basically what happens. So if anyone has not seen the show, I'm sorry for the spoilers. <laughs> but this is basically Eleven's room. So we got a little... It's supposed to represent a mirror over here. we got a flower pot um, with a little thing on... Like a mushroom in just to make it look a bit more uh, mystic and, you know, a bit strange. Um, and then a snow painting up the top there. Which is very cool. And then, yeah, we go into the bathroom, which is over here. So we've got like, a little bookcase in the foyer sort of area bathroom this is supposed to represent a chain pool toilet and uh, the windows are all brown stained glass just to add that effect of musty sort of windows that this place needs renovating really it's kind of run down it's all supposed to be dim with all the lanterns around you can actually take some of these out to make it a little bit more dark if you wanted to um, but it's really up to you um, but yeah that is the that is the the really cool cabin I, I absolutely love building this uh, and now I'm going to teach you guys how to build it so of course you are going to need a lot of spruce so if you're building this on survival definitely let me know in the comments below because it's such a challenge and it's still such a challenge in creative as well so definitely let me know as well so we've got some spruce blanks we got spruce log we're also going to grab a spruce sign as you can see there's a lot around and of course a spruce door for the front there because it's like a wood cabin um, we're going to need some spruce fence and some spruce stairs and um, we can come back to the roof afterwards. We can we can kind of map out the, the rooms first, where they're going to go. We'll also grab ourselves some brown stained glass. You know, this has been one of my favourite tutorials ever building. Like, especially a request. I, I love building people's requests. So when, when you guys give me one, I will definitely try my best to uh, fulfil it. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ha, 11, that makes sense. Right, so let's just double check this again. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, oops, 13. Was it 13 here? I think it was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. 18 blocks at the front there. So we're going to start with the pillars. Pillars are very important. Let me just turn on the music down of the game because it's very loud. Some odd reason. Okay, it's on like 50%. There we go. That's better. Right, so we're going to start with our spruce log and we're going to stick it just up 
quite far at the moment just because it's raised up on a platform. Um, you don't actually have to put one here if you don't want to. I mean, you can if you want, but it. the reason we put it around the side a little bit, like so, is w because the signs actually obviously can't go around corners. So, and so we have to kind of be a bit creative with how we place them. Um, and it, it just happened to came up with this design, so pretty cool. Then two, then we go up for the actual door. So two, and then the door comes in place up here, somewhere which we can sort out in a second. Uh, might not be this tall, but you never know. So we're going to build the porch area first because we're going to need to. That's the that's where my starting point was when I started building this. So comes out by four, and then goes down a block. So comes out by four. Uh, wait, comes out by four. And then goes down a block like that. And same here. The actual whole build, even the floor on the inside, is spruce spruce logs. Uh, spruce plank, sorry. And the reason I did that is because obviously it is a log cabin and it's supposed to be made out of wood completely and things. I mean, it was weird for me to actually build a, a wood cabin without using too many different woods. I normally build them with like birch in there and you know try and make it bright but because I was building this as a tutorial and it was going to be quite a hefty tutorial for a log cabin because you normally expect them to be quite small and cozy um, but this one is definitely kind of the opposite it's quite it's quite big bulky uh, but you kind of expect it in this in this kind of world right is that that's just um slabs okay so we go from the front here it's like that there is that there. Let me just double check and keep referring back just because it is quite confusing. I need to kind of take my time with it just to make sure I do it the, the best it can possibly be for you guys. So then we, we put a block there and then we stick our slabs in between that gap there. It's pretty cool. Um, we're going to grab our spruce fence, go along like that. And then we're also going to go from here. This is quite a few blocks long. So let's just double check this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine blocks, so pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's perfect. We built that pretty well. So fill all this in now, and then you can start to put your fence around. So it's quite a big porch for a log cabin. Um, but you can always tell they're quite a creepy log cabin when they have like a rocking chair on the uh, the front porch. So yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a cool cabin. So that one goes into the steps there. That's right. Okay, and then we go up with these. We go up three from the actual point of um, like starting point. So down here, then it goes up three. So, but we don't do it on this back pillar. You you probably notice like there's nothing here. If you look at the R1 over here, look, there's no pole. That's because obviously the wall, you could put one hint in here if you wanted to, but uh, the actual build and the actual um, log cabin in real life is is very plain. It's very bland, like someone has just built it there to go hunting or something like that. Uh, and I think that's kind of what they would represent in the show. Like Hopper's kind of a, uh, you know, a proper donut loving policeman who is a little bit lazy when it comes to doing stuff that he actually used to do so like renovating his, his own home uh, but I think 11 kind of helps with that so yeah it's pretty cool so there you go and you can go three so this is all this area is pretty good now so we can stick our signs around we can always come back and put the signs around the rest of the way now this is probably the longest process in the log cabin it takes such a long time to place the signs okay so now we're going to build this gap in between, and this is four blocks high. So, as you can see, there's like a verge as well that goes around the outside. So is, we can, uh, we're going to build that quickly. Just It gives us a nice reference to the, the level of the ground around the outsides of the, the log cabin. And it also helps us out with where we should place the next kind of layer, if you know what I mean. So we go like that, and then there is a pillar, another spruce log pillar in this gap, like so. And you stick your signs in as we go, which is always helpful. Saves you a little bit of time at the end. And then this goes one, two, three, and four, and five. 
so that's pretty cool five blocks there's a lot of windows in this build and uh, I've came up with a cool solution if you guys want to kind of must up the windows a little bit or change them up you can stick some banners on the inside they look not too terrible um, you could always if you have any better designs or anything like that for anything in this build definitely let me know in the comments because uh, I like to improve my builds with what, what you guys say you know would be good because it helps me out become a better better builder and a better person to uh, build tutorials and stuff like that so definitely helps me out all right so stick some signs in and then the windows in there so now you basically got the front of your log cabin and as you can see over here there's actually like an outhouse sort of thing and that's where the bathroom is so we're just going to build this on the side quickly so it goes one two three four and five and then six for that pillar on the on the thing there so there's a pole here two three four five and then the pillar and now we need to go double check how tall that pillar is because this thing kind of slopes into the side of the house for the roof so that is actually three blocks long and then it goes four and then four and then five on that one so three then four then four three then four then five yeah like that cool beans all right if you have this you're doing very well if you don't don't worry you can always pause the vid at any point and uh, go and check where you may have uh, may have slipped up or something just not worry don't worry at all oh my bad these are two see even the even the even the people that make the tutorials get it wrong sometimes so this actually comes out from the roof level it's my bad and goes all the way along so you can actually just fill this in now over the porch leave this layer clear at the moment just in I'm just going to double check that that's actually supposed to be filled in I'm pretty sure it is okay it's filled in with stairs that's fine as long as it's filled in with something so we can actually just knock these off for now all right nice one let's go to the side of the house and check what we need to do next one two three four five six so six blocks one two three four five six all right nice one this is going to be a long tutorial guys so i'd recommend getting a cup of tea or something just to keep you going throughout because i think it's going to be about 40 minutes to be honest took me a while to build the actual thing from from my brain you know and let alone some pictures to help me out it was uh in the end i actually used a reference from uh someone who built it in lego and i actually used their kind of design and i was like okay i could adapt this to make it into minecraft and uh, i used also some set images from the actual uh strange things set they really helped me out and some movie scenes i well tv show scenes i actually got from netflix so yeah pretty cool one two three four and five for the pillar in this gap now you're thinking this is very tall at the moment how the how the people are going to stand up in it don't worry there's we're going to fill this entire section back in in a sec so literally it'll be same level so you can look out the window i just realized from this angle buzz light you're in woody look like the statue of liberty it's kind of weird all right anyway back to the tutorial so one two three four five six seven another seven blocks now so one two three four five six seven and then fill this all the way up there is a window in this gap because this is actually Eleven's room now so we're going to need to block out some some stuff in a sec so so there's one there and there's one there okay they're on the ends that's nice and helpful for us so there's one there and just one there brown stained glass again pretty helpful there we go and then there's a pillar right on the end here and this is one two three four blocks high awesome one two three four nice one and as you can see the roof kind of slopes off down onto this main kind of wall and then it overhangs the actual cabin itself quite well so this is five blocks now one two three four five build this up yeah if you guys have any more requests for me to build any strange things tutorials or any tutorials definitely let me know in the comments and i'll write them down just so i don't forget so i love hearing from you guys it's brilliant to kind of give me inspiration for my next build so thank you so much uh so one two three four for another pillar and then it goes one two three four five six seven eight blocks now wow okay 
This is a very big mansion. So as you can see, that lines up nicely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Build this in. And obviously there's a door in this gap as well, so we need to make sure that door can be accommodated. So it's on the first three, so that's nice and nice and easy. So it's about here. Maybe a little bit higher. Oop. There. That's where it is. <laughs> okay, now we're just gonna bring the grass round so we can actually stick in the steps for that back door. All the way around the house. And even filling in that a little bit there because we can actually just stick the stairs along the verge there look at that nice and simple and we're just going to stick our door in nice nice and easy as well so that's looking pretty sweet all right so two blocks away from the door there is another there's another window so one two three four so just there and then they leave a two block gap yep oh it almost looks like a one because of this vine but as you can see, the vines add a nice effect around the outskirts, so it looks pretty, pretty sweet. Alright, so another, oops, another four, four spruce log pillar just there. And then we go around to the side of the build, and we go one, two, three, four, five again. And then a pillar in that little gap, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then there's one there, and then there's actually a pillar just here. So now we're actually headed back out to the outhouse sort of area of the build. Which is kind of cool because we're almost done then. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So basically matching up with the other side. Six. Fill this in. Don't worry about the windows at the moment. I know I've probably missed a couple out. We'll go and stick them in after this. Uh, after we've kind of finished this area. So like that and then sit that there now we can put the other pillar in like so just double check it's actually there yeah I'm pretty sure it is but just wanted to double check and then we can stick the the wall in here now this one has a win has a window kind of in the middle so it's nice and simple to just plonk it in there sorted alright looking good so there's a window on the side here so we can just knock that one through and that's just about there. No, it's not. It's about there. My bad. It's because the um, stairs are kind of overhanging on, on, the, on the back of it. On the front, they're not too bad because of the porch. And they're kind of on the third block high. But I think they're on... Yeah, they're almost kind of a little bit lower on this side. That's cool. Right. So now we've done that, let's just double check back to our build again. So let's just go inside and see what we we're at with the roof. So, okay, so it's actually four blocks high in here. So you could fit, you could put Steve on my shoulders and he wouldn't bang his head. So that's good. Right, let's go back to our build. So this side we're actually going to fill in the roof now for this little outhouse. So it goes slab, then it goes. Is that a block? Let's just double check. Yeah, it's block height, and then slabs on the inside. So it goes like this, slab like so and then we go oops slab at block height and then slab and then weirdly enough another slab let me just go check but I think it's another slab three and then this is actually block level as well that's good is it block level on the inside ah oh, no we just knocked the lantern off we'll have to go sit that back and we can also go check on the the rest of the slab situation yeah, this entire back bit is just... It's fine, so that's good. Uh, where did this landing go? Oh, just here. Cool. Okie dokie. So, we can go back to ours. And just stick in the... Kind of two blocks on the roof there. Like so. So it should... Look pretty much the, the same. Almost, right, what have I done? One, and then there's two, okay, this, maybe I've messed that up. I think I've done one and then a one. So, it actually goes one, two. One, and then two. Yeah, I see. One, and then two, and then this is actually higher. Hmm. 
Wait a second, let me just double check. Alright guys, so we're going to go back to the roof afterwards because at the moment I'm a little bit confused with this. It looks, it's pretty much the same, it is the same. Um, but I think we need to put in the floor just to make it um, look similar, you know what I mean? So we're just going to fill in the floor now. It's two blocks high from ground level. And we're just going to build it all the way along now. So it's quite a painstaking process you, if you're not doing it on world edit or anything. Console edition is sucky for that. You have to kind of fill in every single block, but it's all good. It adds to the fun, doesn't it, in the end? Oops. Unless you do either and drop your blocks. Let me just speed this bit up quick. Alright guys, so we filled that entire section in now, so it looks pretty good. We're actually going to go and look at the wall design now and stick our walls in. So if we come into here, we've got a two block gap, and we've got two blocks away from that wall as well. And then it goes kind of, so three, then four, same on this side because there's a pillar. These are both actually four blocks and then there's like a gap. But if we can stick the thing, the uh, upside down stairs, so that is actually really helpful. So one, two, one, we're actually going to fill this up quick, two. Then there's actually upside down stairs. Oh, that's already two. My bad. Right, two. Basically, we're leaving a one kind of block gap on this side just so it adds a little bit of the effect of the bath here. Which. Have I done this right? Let me just go double check. Right, so there's two blocks back here. So this entire bathroom has a width of one, two, three, four, five, six six blocks let's go double check ours if it has smaller than that we're gonna have to extend it out one two three four five six no it's, good. it's all good so there's two on that side it's fine ah, okay we got this now guys there we go look at that that's perfect okay so now we can actually check what we did with the roof again for this one section if we can get this down and sorted we can actually do it well so there's two actual slabs here, so there's blocks. So that's a block, that's a slab. So slab, slab, block, and then slabs. Okay, so slab, slab, block, slabs. Hard to remember, it's like a little rhyme, isn't it? Slab, 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 block, slabs. That's why it looks weird, because those slabs. Oh my goodness, they look like blocks from underneath, of course. Just adds a little bit of confusion. There we go. That's probably why we can place that lantern earlier. Right, that makes sense. Okay, we got the bathroom down now. That's, that's perfect. That was struggling. It's one of the hardest parts because it's basically not part of the house. It's not built onto the side of the house. Uh, it's kind of a separate thing that you put a doorway through. Um, it it's kind of confusing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six now from that wall there. And then we're going to build Eleven's room. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Get Eleven room, Eleven's room kind of marked out here. Let's build that block up a sec so we can actually stick the door in. Uh, I think the door is actually two blocks in. Let me just double check this. I'm pretty sure it is. It says the wall, and then it's two. Yeah, it is cool. Okay, and then we got the rest of the walls, four blocks there. Uh, and then we need to build kind of this little section here, this little wall here. So actually comes out from that block there, four blocks. So we said there's a bookcase, then it kind of comes out like here. Like so. Alright, nice one. Now we can build Hopper's bed back there. We can build all of the living room space. It's going to look great, guys. Okay, it's just taking a little sec. My bad. I keep having to refer to my, my original tutorial because it is quite confusing. So, one, two, three, four blocks, which we have over here. So can... Alright, guys. So, before moving on to the actual roof, what I didn't do earlier, which I should have mentioned, is this. I was counting the actual block below the grass block because here, this, this grass block isn't actually filled in yet. So, we need to fill in the rest of the ground around the outskirts so you could actually do this many layers if you wanted to I'm just going to stick to one layer just because it looks 
kind of like a verge, but not um, not sort of like a hill on the side of the thing. And I should have mentioned it, like I said, but this is actually four blocks exposed, whereas this block was I was carrying this one, and it wasn't actually being exposed. So I was I made it basically three blocks long, and uh, we were going to stick the roof on there, but it wasn't how it should have been. So that is my fault. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our spruce logs spruce stairs and we're going to stick them along like that like so and then a dark oak on the end there like that oh my gosh my Alexa just came in shut up shut up phew okay <laughs> scared the living daylights out of me especially building strange things blimey neck well stranger things have happened when I've been doing tutorials right so now we go to the right to the end of this one stick our stair in there fill that in stick your plank there and then we can actually just fill this bit over the top because that is going to go up to there fill that in with sp spruce stairs there there you have it that side is perfectly done okay this is going well now guys it was going a little bit hickety earlier but it's going nice and well now so if you're doing this you're doing a really good job my apologies again for that, I should have mentioned it earlier, but I just completely forgot. Right, so now we're going to fill this whole thing in another second layer, and that second layer is our last layer for the thing. So we're going to actually have to go in the inside and match it up for the walls and stuff, just so it's not kind of sticking out. But it's all good, we can sort it out. So, come on the inside and just make all the, the rooms... The, the interior wall is basically the same height as the roof is going to be. And then you can fill it in with planks. So we're just going to speed this along again. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our dark oak planks and bring them along to basically connect up the roof on both sides. So now, look at that. It looks pretty fancy. Pretty nice. Let's just go double check. This is the same. So this side is a little bit awkward. Yes, look at that. Epic. We're doing good. We're doing really well, guys. All right, so now we basically have the entire cabin done. So we can stick our door on the front we're gonna go around the outskirts uh, outskirts of the, the, the kind of house now um, with our signs and our vines signs and vines nice and rhyme and you can stick these wherever you like the signs just go on the uh, the planks though not on the the wood the logs just because um, the logs are really hard to cover like in gaps like this you can't actually you know place a sign that's why we put the logs there just to make it look quite cool so let's get started I'll see you at the end, and uh, yeah, just this, this is filling to us what you mean. Guys, I think I forgot a window. Let me just go double check. Oh no, it's all good. There's a window this side. I just thought I missed it out, so I wanted to quickly just stop the, uh, the kind of signing and uh, just double check it. Oops, let's sign that back. Okay, back to sign.
Okay guys, so we finally finished the, the actual signs and things. And it looks pretty effective. We're just going to add a couple more vines around. Because they are quite hard to uh, kind of add them when you're, when you're doing getting carried away with the signs. So we're just going to stick a few more around. You can stick some on the front porch if you want to. So just stick. As you can imagine, it doesn't get much sunlight. So plants don't really grow there. So I might just leave that, that empty. And st but stick a few around places like this. This is this is always a good spot to do it on the on the kind of outhousey toilet sort of thing, because of course it gets a lot of it's kind of close to the the wilderness. They look good in a, in a three as well. Okay, that's all the vines that we can stick on really, without it looking too cluttered. So that looks pretty good. I forgot to mention earlier. I just thought of it whilst I was putting the signs out. You could actually build yourself a little chimney if you wanted to for your for your cabin. And how to do that? is you want to grab some spruce logs and some flower pots and some cobwebs and we're just going to go to the kitchen above the kitchen so this is about above the kitchen over here so logs in a four way shape flower pots in a four way shape then you're going to bring your cobwebs cover all four of these and now the wind direction whichever way you want it to go so go. I would recommend going up about three then going out like this and then just going scattering basically just spamming your, your triggers to uh, just spam these out, make it look like the wind is blowing the air. You look at that. How effective does that look? That's pretty epic. All right, we're going to go furnish this thing now. It's going to be awesome. So, front porch little seat. We're going to put a spruce wood slab and a spruce trap door in a random spot. So we're just going to stick it right here. Plonk that there. Plonk that there. There you go. Little little armchair on the front. Sorted nice and simple and now we're going to go to put the bookcase in we're also going to grab some stripped um, spruce wood it looks really good for furniture especially in this sort of build the, the lanterns oh my goodness me I wouldn't I wouldn't know what to do without the lanterns in this build as well so um, yeah it definitely was helpful so we're going to build this little kind of porchy area just here Oops, and um, we're just going to stick the bookcase one block there, one line there, up there, and lamp above. That's pretty epic. Is that tall? Do you reckon that's too tall? Let's go have a look. I think it might be. Yeah, it is. Okay, oh yeah, because the, the roof posts. I've completely forgot about that. So, for the roof posts, you're going to grab some spruce wood, spruce logs, and we're just going to go kind of in a weird shape like this on the roof I'll just quickly show you okay stick on lantern on there in a second so like this basically not cluttered together leaving a, a gap in between to make it look like uh, roof posts or rafters or something like that looks very cool you can just also Oh, you can't, you can't do that. My bad. Let's go up, fill that in quickly. But it's starting to look really cool. And it's starting to look homey as well, which is really good. That's what we want in this tutorial. It's quite a cosy build. It looks pretty good. And it also looks really good in snow. If anyone builds this in the uh, spruce biome, let me know in the comments below. And if you can send me a picture or tweet me on uh, Twitter... Or even send me a picture on Instagram. Definitely show me because I want to see your guys' builds. Ten, definitely. So we're just going to stick the poles in here now. Eleven's room's helpful because it's quite symmetrical. So there's enough poles, like roof posts, to go in and look effective. So now we're just going to go check where we got to with the other one. Just grab that lantern again. So you can fill that in our, in our next book in a second. Let's do the bathroom next. So the bathroom is an easier thing to get started on. So we're just going to grab that. Spruce start signs. White banner. A slab. And then this lovely quartz bath. Which we need some quartz stairs for. Some bucket of water. And this is so helpful. This new system. You're also going to need tripwire hook. And so block of iron we have to come back for the rest of the materials afterwards 
so let's go into our build so over here is the actual kind of bath so four blocks like that two trap doors on then we're going to build the quartz stairs like that you can have it feeding like that if you wanted to it's really up to you it looks pretty cool like that actually I might leave it like that actually it looks very effective and then we're going to put ourselves a little banner over here then our spruce sort of table thing over here like so oh this needs to be a little bit closer there we go just to the toilet which is going to be in this gap which we can probably build with the materials we have some of them and that and there's a lantern up here I think there's one here as well we need to grab ourselves some iron bars iron bars wherever you gone there you are you're hiding from me like that toilet seat of course we need an iron trap door they look really good really nice and effective you can also for the toilet paper you can actually grab these weird looking scroll things they're actually banner patterns and they look like toilet rolls to be honest don't they even with the little cardboard holder thing that they have on they actually look like toilet rolls it's kind of interesting so bucket of water and a cauldron for your sink so we only need one cauldron over here with one trap uh trip wire hook just there and there you have it now you can also grab yourself another banner and just stick it here for a little towel for either the bath or the the uh the sink there let's just fill this back in quickly there we go all right let's go to the next bit that was good we got the entire bathroom done just then which is awesome so this is looking good now yeah we did put that lantern in the right place that's good all right so this area this is area is a little bit tricky to do so we're going to grab ourselves a block of spruce i know that's dark oak and then dark oak signs there we need some spruce over here a painting which we can grab we are also going to need a lantern again a pressure plate and we'll come back for the rest of the materials because i think we're going to get ourselves a little bit confused otherwise just grab a furnace and trapdoor okay cool let's go for it so that one goes so this weird shape thing goes here then this is where the table and stuff is so this goes out block here then the seats are in this gap and then the actual kind of table thing with the furnace is on go over here like so I think I've built that right let me just go double check this okay it's a block away so it's there yeah okay and it's upside down stairs oh, I knew that as well oh my goodness okay it's fine so downstairs so this goes out this is also upside downstairs but you can use blocks if you wanted to it's up really up to you this is your cabin guys this is going to be wicked when it's done right and that is actually the block this way and this goes here oops make little stools basically just to or little chairs so that the uh, hopper and eleven can sit down have a meal together and we're going to stick the same painting just over here so it was when it finds it that always oh, that one dang it there we go okay three hours later <laughs> that's what it should have been wow all right spruce oops spruce on the outside just there i remember having to fill that in loads of times when i was building this I was experimenting with different furniture and it was going okay it was just um yeah it was a little bit confusing for myself 
Right, so we still need to do that. That is on the pole now, that's good. Lantern, of course. Oops, oh no. There is a... That's, that's it, it's pretty strange. Um, we need... Okay, that chorus thing. More cauldrons. Cauldrons look good where do you put them. You got you I'll be honest, they just do look really cool. Striped, there we go. Right. And then we can stick. Okay, okay, let's go for it. So this there, oops, this here, that one there, and there's gonna be an iron block there. This one here has that on it. This one over here has a thing on it, and it also has a lantern. There's a lantern over here. This has the chorus. This is cauldrons. Oh no. Dang it, I always mess something up. Alright, there we go. And then there's always these signs around as well. I'm just going to extend the kitchen out one block there. There we go. Makes a little cubby, cubby hole sort of kitchen as well. Okay, and then we can grab ourselves a mushroom for that little bit there. Where is the mushrooms? There they are, okay, they're hiding from me. Signs again. On these signs, you can actually stick um, dashes, little dashes, make great little draw handles. Look, if you look at them, they look pretty cool. Just gonna do the same on all of them, like that. Then we can take our iron block with our glass paint and item frame and stick that there. Also stick these here. And that one there. Okay, that is looking good. You can stick a little pressure plate on top of there as well if you wanted to. Honestly, I'm not sure what that is. If anyone knows from the TV show what that is, please let me know in the comments because I've completely like baffled by it. I'm not really sure what it does. Okay, so we need some ladders. We need to get a lantern in that corner. And then the carpet. Of course, the carpet makes it look like a kitchen. Definitely not orange carpet. No, no, no. Of course, I need some brown carpet for that main section. Just here. This is actually one, two, three, four, five by five by five. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, let's do it. Never get in the front door. There we go. Right, so we're going to sit this here. For like that, and then we can just sit the carpet in. Doesn't matter which way you do the pattern, guys. It's really kind of your choice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-five bits of carpet on the floor just there. Nice. Okay, we've got this sorted. We've got basically. Two, three sections of the house pretty much done. So we're now going to grab ourselves slab and a spruce trap door. I'm just going to go double check this is going to be good. Right, so there's a sofa here, one pole, one by away from this pole. Then it goes round, and there's one there. Then there's two blocks diagonal, and then we get a bit of hopper's bed, which is actually brown concrete. The reason I use brown concrete and white concrete is to make it look a little bit dirty and the fact that he doesn't, he doesn't really have any self hygiene as such. He kind of relies on um, Joyce to kind of help him out with, with reminding him stuff. So he kind of needs that person in his life to, uh, to, to, get, him, to get him out of bed and uh, actually make him do stuff. <laughs> he's one of them. He's, he's a lazy policeman. Right. And we forgot the signs around the front here. I just noticed myself, so... Don't worry about that back one, we can still leave that empty, it's all good. Alright, nice one. So here, this is actually two blocks away from that wall, so... Oops. There's another side there. There's one here. So, and then there's these two kind of blocks there, and then there's this bed just over here three blocks of brown concrete and then the white concrete just there 
you can stick one on out if you wanted to it just looks a bit strange so I just kind of left it um, then there's actually a lantern up here I think there's a lantern around I think there's one about here maybe here yeah I think it's there all right and then we can stick ourselves back into the other house just to see what we've got to do next all right so carpet on the bed easy peasy and ah there's a lantern over there that's perfect with a plant pot with a dead bush on and of course the telephone dark oak signs again planks yeah I know what I'm gonna change this up change that up there not gonna put the sign on that looks pretty cool let's do the same on the other side so that one there this over here with the signs on to represent drawers only kind of one drawer on each side at the moment you can stick the dead bush here and then that, that there and TV over here kind of in front of the window kind of in front of the window kind of not and then that there like so carpet on the bed and TV TV black concrete and just some levers like so pretty cool all right that is pretty much the living room done let me just go check I've not missed anything I feel like there should be something near Hopper's bed like down the side there maybe like his gun chest or something you know what I mean you could stick that in if you wanted to I might leave it empty at the moment we do need to put another sign back there though um, but that is basically the stunt I did use black concrete in my other one you can use whatever texture you want it depends on what TV you want to put in there I'm gonna stick, leave this one um, coal block, and then leave the other one black concrete. So that's actually on that pillar. Okay, that's fine. All right, so Eleven's bedroom. We need to grab ourselves some um, stripped again. Uh, we've already got the thing. That's good. Right. Mushroom, glass, bookshelf, lantern. We got right, and then we come back to do the bed afterwards. So take a mental note of this. And let's go and put this in the house. Okay, so there's a one sign back here. Sorted. Glass there. That one there with the mushroom on. And then that one there. Lantern above. And then the door over here. Now, Eleven's bed is a double bed because. Just because she can, you know she's kind of a teenager so she wants she wants her own space or in bed I think so three like that and then double bed like that so we need to go out ourselves some stripped again a iron rod and some uh, some pink wool now we're also gonna grab a painting quickly so um, where have they gone ah oh, they're in there here Birch pressure plate. Now this looks really good for pillows, which is kind of weird because if you think about it, it looks that you know it looked like they're supposed to be trampled on, and they are basically. I'm also going to grab some white stained glass now, or pink stained glass. It's up to you. I'm going to use pink again. Oops, not like grey, pink. Okay, so back to the bedroom. We're going to go stick this in our build now. We also need a sign. I just realised. So over here we're going to go into Lem's bedroom and we can stick that upside down there, pink stained glass on top and then we're going to get that, stick the drawers on so we need actually two lines this time, two dashes to represent drawers and then we're going to stick that there, pink one on top. The reason pink, I don't really know why it's she's kind of got a pink thing, maybe it's because um, she you know maybe grew up with like in the color pink I don't really know maybe there's a storyline to it I don't not sure I know she has that that pink lamp or red lamp next to her bed so that's what that's supposed to represent then a little bit of carpet just there and then let's go double check if we haven't missed anything I don't think we have but we never know we may have missed something 
You can also stick some signs around the bed if you want to. Maybe like oak ones just at the end of the bed. To kind of represent, you know, maybe like a backboard sort of thing. We get, oops, I was going to Hawker's lab. We can go and do the same on this side. And we need to place the pressure plates. Just there. Okay, nice one. We have pretty much done this tutorial, guys. Last thing we're going to do is, of course, place ourselves the trees around, which are here. Trees all the way around. You don't have to make it exactly if you don't want to. Make it like a forest, spruce forest, basically. All the way like that, and then you can grow all these trees around your build as well. And one thing, one last couple things I did was I actually went to this, 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 and then I kind of made it out a couple blocks, just so you can make hopper's kind of police truck area just here and you can build a police truck in my other tutorial which i'll stick a link at the end of this vid for you guys please definitely go check it out that'd be awesome and then a little pan back here for the for this back door that is pretty much it yeah that is that is basically what we've got to do wow that was very long i'm actually a bit um dry in the throat now i need to go get a drink thank you so much for watching this video awesome video thank you um Alessandra Milano for requesting this tutorial. If I'm saying your name so wrong, I'm so, so sorry. Um, you guys have been awesome again. This video is dedicated to this person for requesting the vid. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you can go and build this in your worlds. Hope the, the tutorial wasn't too confusing. But if it was, definitely let me know in the comments where I can improve on my tutorials. I know that was a little bit um, tricky because I had to kind of refer back to my model a lot. But um, yeah, it was really hard because I built it from my head again. Um, with pictures, it's hard to kind of make a proper tutorial with you guys. Maybe in the future I'll get better at it, and I hope I will. Um, but I really hope you could still follow it, and it was definitely really fun for me to build again. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you at the next Weedy Assassin tutorial. Peace out. Goodbye for now.